Hello and welcome. This is Denmark and today I want to start something new. Um, I want to make some Sony Vegas Pro 14 tutorials um, because it was very cheap in the Humble Bundle recently and I guess many people have it now but don't really know how to use it. Um, I actually wanted to start with basic like basic cutting and fading transitions but these are like so easy to learn I can I really think you guys can um, figure it out by yourself so I want to um, start with something more unusual and not that obvious um, making some um, masking and um, pen cropping so I open a file um, I just recorded it a couple of minutes ago it's from a game it's from Metro Last Light just to have something to work with so what I want to show you is like how you can make stuff zoom in and zoom out and um, let's just say I had a nice piece where I can go from that's all lies um, we go like here like the zoom in like they do and I want to make a cut so I go to the exact position I want to set my to set uh, my cut Okay, when you when you are in your timeline here, you can move it by hand while dragging your mouse and holding uh, the left mouse button, or you can use the keys to adjust it when you need to really get one single frame. So I want this frame here, and um, I make a cut in my video by by pressing the S key, so I know where I am at, so I don't lose track, and. I also will do a um, screenshot of this one here. So um, above the preview um, field here is a disk. You just click on it and press in the name and you get your, your screenshot right here. Um, first off, I want to show you um, in another part of the video, which is not this one here, like anything will do. Like let's say, let's, let's say it's just, just this here. Okay, I make a cut like here and here. I want to work with this one, this part. Um, so where you have to press to to enter the menu for your um, for your zoom stuff and everything, you have to press this thing here. It's always on the right side of, of each uh, clip you have. So you press on it, and this one here will open. Um, the first thing you have to know is uh, there will be a timeline. In the in the bottom row here this is your time and you can see the video going and you can uh, determine where you want a change in your video so this is like just standard so nothing is happening and um, let's say you want to zoom at something so you go just here and and change change uh, the square here you can make a zoom in or zoom out. You see here on the preview screen on the right side what you will see. So um, let's say we go. I actually need to go to the video as well, like here. Okay, now you see what you will see. Let's say we, we, we make a zoom on his face. Okay. And the zoom will be in the beginning of the video because we are in the beginning of the time. And when you move your video, you see him moving as well. So you want his face maybe to stay in the center. So you move with the video and move as well your cursor. You see in the timeline below where you're going. You want to follow it like a camera. Okay, and maybe now we can go and make it zoom out again. So let's see how it looks. Let's even get through. But couldn't get through. This is our zoom. This is our movement. It doesn't look so good because I'm rushing it a little bit, but uh, you get you get the clue how it works. You can uh, delete all those uh, keyframes again by pressing on it and pressing delete. 
and restore it in the first place so it's back to normal again. Now as well, you can do like a zoom in, like a movement. Um, you also just go to your to your beginning. It's normal. You go to the back, make like a zoom, and it and it will just go uh, constant zooming in, like you can see here. You can turn the screen as well. Like this one, turn. But couldn't get through. What the? So you can see, you can do a lot of stuff um, just with this menu here um, as well. We go to our picture because it's a little bit easier to, to work with the picture for this thing, what I want to do now. Um, you add one video layer more. So we go here on the left side, press right click, insert video track. And let's say we make two. I don't know how many we will need, but if you don't need one, you can delete it as well. I, I make three. So, um, this is part where I made my screenshot. I will put my picture in here, in the top row. So, all lies. when this part comes, my screenshot will pop up and this will be steady. Truth is even scarier. Okay. I go, I drag the screenshot till the um, black screen is going. I zoom in with my mouse wheel. So I'm here. So let's see how masking works. So I go again in here and this is not the, I don't use the position now. I go to mask and I set the, um, I check the box here. So now I can cut out anything I want from this picture. I can go like, uh, use a fixed square. You click here on the square and I can go like cut out a square and put it somewhere, do whatever I want with it. I reset the mask, I don't want it, I can go with the circle. Is even scarier. And you can see um, this one will be cut out from the background. You can put any background in front of it, like I just put anything here. You can see it will be on top. Um, but this isn't accurate enough for me now. So, because I want to cut this guy out completely. So I can go like for a real, um, really good cut with this tool here, setting anchor creation tool. So I click on it and I can really cut out anything what I want. So I just go for this whole guy here. I, I will wash it a little bit. You can be more accurate with it, but I don't want the video to be that long. So I go like, at least it's working, you know. Okay, now we cut out our guy. Let's see how it looks. Truth is even scary. Very nice, right? Now we can do even more stuff with it. Um, this is like your cutout. This is your background here, this video here down. And you can say, um, Truth. I don't is like scarier. it's being black on the background. So you can put anything else in it. You can put another video in it, like this one. I just drag it inside here. But couldn't get through. Or you can put whatever you want. Um, let's say we do a media mask generator. We're going for noise texture. And um, you see I have different um, possibilities. Let's say we want lava in the background. So we can drag our lava in and we have some lava. Truth is even scarier. Maybe I want it to fade out at the end. So I can go make it fading out. Maybe I want the lava to move. So we learned about our, um, our um, timeline. So I can make so many different changes in all the noise textures. So like um, changing the frequency of the lava. So let's, let's go for the maximum amount. 
So it looks like this one here. Truth. Then maybe I want the lava to move. So we can use our um, our keyframes. So you can see like here, there's a progress bar. And let's say we want a keyframe. Uh, we want a different, we want an alpha to move. So you had see um, the clocks here at the right side. And you can add for everything, you can add a keyframe. So I click on the keyframe here. I will move it. And I change the frequency at the end of the clip to this one here. And now, voila, Lava is moving. Is even scarier. Okay, let's say we want it also to dramatically um, zooming in into the his guy's face. So you can also combine your mask with your position. Go to the end of the timeline maybe and make a crazy zoom in his face. Let's see his eyes. Look like this one. Truth is even scarier. So you can see you can do really whatever you want. You can add more layers, less layers. You can um, you can make the transition a little bit. You can make it more um, transparent. So let's say you make it transparent and want something behind it, um, plasma. So you can really play with this program so much. You have so many possibilities to make whatever you want. Is even scary. Um, yeah, this is just an example. Um, because I don't really know how to start this video and I saw just I show you some Truth. possibilities what to make and um, yeah if you want if you like to know something how to, how to be done in this program um, feel free to leave a comment in the description with your question and um, I will maybe make a video with it and on how to do it um, I hope you had fun Truth. and it was informative it for you scary. You learned something and have fun editing, my friends. Um, if you like this video, please give me a subscription and uh, a like on the comment. Have a nice day. Bye bye.